Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations and today we are going to measure the power consumption of this particular fridge. And guys, this is an old technology of a non-inverter based fridge. So all the latest fridges which we are getting today are based on inverter technology. But this is what you can call a non-inverter or an old school kind of fridge which uses large heavy duty compressors. So it would be very interesting what kind of power consumption figures we find with this test. So we are going to run this test in uh, two different methods. The first method would be to find the wattage, which means that when the compressor comes on, what kind of wattage does this thing draw from the wall? The second method over here would be to find out the power consumption in uh, units or kilowatt hours, because the electricity bill which we pay is going to be based upon those units. So what we are going to calculate is the amount of electricity required to run this fridge for say one day or one month or even one year. So on based of that we are also going to find out the cost, I mean the money which you will have to pay for running this fridge for uh, you can say one month or one year. So first let me show you the kind of fridge which I have and this fridge comes from Godrej. You can see the Godrej uh, logo over here and being uh, somewhere around 15 years old. Yes, you heard that right. So we brought this fridge somewhere in 2006 or 2007, which makes it around 15 years old. So being 15 years old, it does not come with those uh, nice little star stickers over here. You can see those stickers are missing. Modern fridges will have a small sticker over here, uh, which says like a three star or five star kind of thing. But my fridge did not come with that because that kind of method was not even invented back then. So what I did is I created my own sticker. So this neat little sticker is a handmade by yours truly. That means that I have handmade this sticker and this looks very nice in this uh, deep purple shade. You can see the close up of this decal. Everything is handmade and here is how it looks. So this is the freezer part and let me show it to you. So as you can see that there is absolutely no space in this and the whole freezer is cramped. The same is kind of the story over here in the refrigerator department. And I don't recommend that you stuff your uh, fridge or a uh, freezer this badly. But for an acid test, yeah, I think that uh, for the power consumption, it will do and it will provide us an acid test of the power consumption. So that's the freezer part. Being a double door refrigerator, it also comes with this refrigerator part where you keep all your stuff and uh, fruits and everything. So here is how the whole fridge looks. This is a double door refrigerator. The size is roughly 200 and 50 liters. Let me try focusing on this uh, little sticker over here. And being uh, somewhere around 15 years old, the sticker is completely worn out. And let's turn on the torch. Right. Okay. So as we can see on this particular sticker, guys, the model number of this fridge is the GF26BCGWS. You can see the gas specifications over here. The gross volume is 245 liters. And the storage volume, if I am able to read correctly, is 205 liters. So that's 245 and 205. And this thing is made in India by Godrej. Right. And wow, the sticker suddenly looks pink. Actually, this thing is not pink. It's just happening due to the effect of my flashlight. So let me turn it off for you. And here, here is how it actually looks. So guys, what I'm going to do is very quickly connect my power meter. By that time, you guys hit that nice little like and subscribe button down below. And let's begin today's experiment. Guys, so I have done installing the power meter on this fridge and we can see the power meter over here. And we are in the kilowatt hours window. And the kilowatt hours uh, reading over here is uh, currently 00. zero. So I have just uh, reset this meter. And the electricity bills which we pay is calculated on the basis of these kilowatt hours. And one kilowatt hour is also known as one unit of electricity. And if you want to buy this kind of power meter, then buying links will be waiting for you in description below. It's a neat little gadget if you want to find out the power consumption of variety of devices at your home. So that's my power meter, that's my big beastie fridge over there and let me show you the date and time. So currently the time is a night time and it's somewhere around 11 o'clock, so 23.05 
that is 1105 and the date over here is February 20. So you guys take a trip through the time travel and we'll meet again at a later date. Guys the compressor just kicked in and the power consumption with the compressor running is uh, somewhere around 200 watts. Here you can uh, try hearing the sound of the compressor and here is the power consumption. Guys welcome back and I have been running this test for about 4 days now. You can see the date and time. So the date today is February 24, 2021 and the time is night time. Let's take a look at the power meter. So the power meter is connected over here towards the back of the fridge and currently it is showing 186 watts. That is the power consumption being drawn from the wall with the compressor running. Let's scroll to the kilowatt hours window and the kilowatt hours are 6.38 which means that 6.38 units have been used over the course of 4 days for running this fridge. And scrolling back to the wattage you can see that this is the wattage being consumed by the fridge. Let's come back to the mobile phone. So here is my phone. We don't need this clock application so I'll close it and let's open the calculator. So where is the calculator? Here it is. Okay. So this is the calculator and let's plug in the kilowatt hours reading and I guess that was 6.38. Yeah, that was 6.38. So here is 6.38 on the calculator and let's divide it by 4. So the daily power consumption of this fridge is 1.59 that is for 24 hours. And I'm going to use an expensive electrical rate, which would be 8 rupees. And by multiplying this thing by 8, we get an expense that is 12.76 rupees you will have to pay for running this fridge for 24 hours. And if you want to use the fridge for one month, the expense would be 382 rupees. So not really high as I had thought. And if you are running it for an entire year, that would be somewhere around 4600 rupees. You can see. 4593 is the electricity bill you will have to pay for running this kind of fridge for an entire year. What do you think of this kind of power consumption guys? Do let me know in comment section below and make sure you hit that subscribe button right away because what I am going to do is in the future video we are going to compare this little 245 liter fridge with a big beastly 547 liter new fridge which I brought from LG. And the LG fridge is rated at 3 stars. The old Godrej fridge is rated at no stars. So it will be really interesting to see what kind of comparisons, what kind of energy efficiency we can see between both of these fridges which are born roughly 15 years apart. And if you are interested in seeing more power saving videos, different kind of power consumption tests, then power consumption test playlist is waiting for you in the description below. You can go ahead and check it out. So that's it for this little video guys. Take care and have a nice day.